waking up in the middle of the night parched. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell from the title, we are filming one of my favorite videos, an Amazon favorites, must-haves, haul, girl, whatever you want to call it, okay? You guys seem to really, really enjoy these. Clearly, we can't stop giving our money to Balmy and Bezos. So if you're interested in seeing some of the new things that I just felt compelled to share with you guys, then just keep on watching. And I just want to give a disclaimer. I got my Invisalign in, y'all. I can't speak. I got a list. Please work with me okay also number two um everything that is linked down below is an affiliate link aka i will get paid if you buy from the link if you are not interested in me making commission search the products on amazon on your own enough rambling let's get into it so i'm gonna be starting with tech stuff just because i don't have that many tech things and we're starting with my phone case okay i always get questions about all the different phone cases that i have they're always from amazon so i have several linked um, several different phone cases link but this is my current one it is a square like it's a perfect square I think that just looks so cute and it's this um oh it look kind of greasy right now but it is a shiny I don't know it's nude but it kind of has like a reflection I think it is so cute Doo -doo 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 -doo. It comes in a bunch of different colors. I'll have it linked down below. It protects my phone really good. It is a silicone case. I only like the silicone cases personally. I switch them out a lot because you can usually get these on Amazon for like 10, 12 bucks. They're really not bad. Up next in the tech stuff, I got a new tripod for my phone. If you don't know, I take all of my pictures myself on my Instagram using a tripod and a Bluetooth remote. Now, it was about time I upgraded y'all. I done had that tripod for years. The one that I was using to take my photos and it was just giving very much raggedy, okay? So we got a new one, and it is cute. How cute is this? And it just looks more like, I don't know, I just love it. So you push here to get it started, and when you push, it opens up, and this is the taller one. They have two different sizes. Um, I believe this goes up to 60 inches. I definitely would suggest this one if you are someone who likes to do full body photos. Um, that way you just you can get all kinds of different angles and then you just kind of pull it all the way out and it's just a really cool tripod it is a little bit more on the pricey side but what i will say is this thing is sturdy okay this is nothing like my old um tripod like it is so much nicer it comes with a bluetooth remote that has its own little spot to sit right here in the um in the base of the tripod and I just think that is like so smart because my other one isn't that way and I'm always losing my remote and then having to find it last minute when I'm trying to go take my pictures good god I talk a lot mm. anyways <laughs> so I just find that this is just so much sturdier so much nicer the remote is even smaller I, I mean it's a little more pricey than your average um phone tripod but I find that it just looks, number one, it's cuter. I'm not gonna lie, the aesthetic is there for it. Well, it also comes with a charger for the um, for the Bluetooth remote. It's a nice little tripod, okay, I promise. And it's sturdy, like you see, I can't even bend it. Like my other one, girl, it is falling apart. I have both of them linked, so if you do want the more affordable option, it does, it works just as well. I've had it for years, so it does hold up, but it is a little, wobbly okay but as long as the wind not blowing you good girl you good and then the last thing in the tech world that i got i finally hopped on the train and got me a little phone light if you know you know i don't use lights for any of my photos i just use flash and daylight when i'm out and about and i'm trying to do little selfie videos i just gotta pray that the flash on instagram gonna get me together that's why i filter it be looking all heavy like my face be all blurred it ain't enough light so i finally bought one of these little selfie lights on instagram y'all this thing is so powerful talk about a game changer so i'm gonna turn it on hopefully i don't blind y'all let's see so i don't know if you guys can tell but you can make it brighter you can make it lighter like less bright it's got all different types of buttons here to dim it you see how i'm dimming it here so if you don't want to kill everybody like this is fire and i don't know why i never got one I don't know and it comes with a little clip so that you can clip it right on top of your phone so here i'll show y'all do, 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 do. so if you're taking your pictures so if you're doing it front ways for the selfie it has a clear circle here so you don't cover up your front face camera okay and then if you're doing it on the and you can angle it i don't know if i 
shows y'all that it's just so many good things about this gang on light. But if you're doing it the other way, it don't matter if your front face camera is covered because you're gonna be using your back camera. So if you're taking your own photos and need a light or if someone else is taking your photos, however, you know, and this is so compact. Like once you take the little attachment for it to go, look at how thin this is. This will fit in the smallest of small bags, okay? Like, it's a, it's a influencer girl, it's a content girl's best friend. I can't believe I'm just now getting one. Kyra has one, my friend Shayna has one, and I don't know what took me so long, but I finally got it. And this thing is fire. I just like how compact it is. And you just charge it directly in, like you just plug this up, and it comes with the charger, and it tells you the battery life when it's on so you know when your light is gonna die before it happens. Okay, so 10 out of 10 would recommend. So that is it for all the like techie type stuff I have. Up next, we have just kind of random household items. There's only two items in this category because these aren't really decor, but they're not like, you know, I don't know what to categorize them under. So the first thing are these little acrylic risers. I got a set of these. It came with like five and they're all different heights and widths. Um, I currently use this for my tea setup, like where all of my teas and everything, uh, I have them on display on my counter and I put some up top and some underneath. So that's kind of what I use these for, but you can keep them in your bathroom and all kinds of areas. They are just acrylic. So they're not like you know, super, they're not glass, they won't break if you drop them, but I do find that they support, you know, I don't see what could be so heavy that you'd be putting on this, but these are just good if you just need a little bit of something to display on a countertop or on a shelf, um, just to, so you have more space. So it's just an acrylic riser. I, at first, didn't think I was gonna show y'all these because I was like, they're just so basic and boring, but I feel like they can be very, very useful and practical for those who need them, so. That's these and they were fairly affordable for a set of five, so yeah. Now the next item is a little unnecessary, but I find that it is extremely practical and useful, especially if you are a thirsty ass bitch like me. Okay, I be waking up in the middle of the night parched. I'm kind of thirsty right now, especially with this Invisalign now that I'm back doing this. Baby, I be thirsty. So this is a bedside carif, carafe, however you say it, or you can call it a decanter, whatever you wanna call it. So essentially, I fill this up every morning whenever I do my morning routine where I clean up my bed, I, you know, take everything down, I, you know, I clean my, my, I tidy up. I always refill this with fresh water and it literally is a cup and a, and a carafe filled with water, fresh water by your bedside. So in the middle of the night, you don't have to go, like y'all know me, I live in a townhouse. I gotta go down a whole flight of stairs. I'm gonna be thirsty. I will let, I be feeling like I'm in the desert because I will not go downstairs. Who? Not I, ain't it be dark? Uh-uh, uh, ain't nothing gonna get me, but now I don't have to be thirsty because I'm not gonna drink my sink water out the bathroom. I'm, I'm gonna get my filtered tap water out, out, my, out my fridge. But like I said, I just put it in here so in the middle of the night when I'm thirsty, I just pour a little bit of water in here, sippy sip, put it, sorry, that was loud. Put it back on top and it stays on my bedside. Full of fresh water, like, I have always wanted a bedside carafe, and I don't know what took me so long, and then when I seen this black and gold, it was just so cute. And I find this to be chef's kiss. It's so cute and bougie, like, and it really gives. Like, it really, really gives. So, mm -hmm, a must have. Alrighty, so the next category that we have has a whole lot of stuff, okay? This is gonna be home gadgets, cleaning organization type of things, okay? And we are gonna start with things that really are only because we like things to be cute, okay? And so basically, I purchased <laughs> cleaning bottles. So what I did was I took all of my cleaning supplies out of the bottles that they come in and I put them in these. Because tell me this don't look better than them bright yellow bleach bottles. Tell me this don't look better than Mr. Clean and his bald head sitting on that spray bottle every time you gotta clean your counters. This is just so cute. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can't convince me that I didn't need this. I, I bought like eight. Like, I'm telling you, there's not a single cleaning supply that's not in here. All of them are in these. Okay, that's my dog. I hope he's not distracting y'all. So yeah, I bought these. They are these very sturdy. Mm, I don't think these are glass. They might be glass. And then this is like silicone down here. So they, they don't slide, they're non-stick. And then the sprayer on top and it sprays good. 
I just, I replaced all of my cleaning utensils, or cleaning utensils, cleaning supply bottles with these. Um, I will link my vlog here where I did it. I just took a funnel and poured everything right in. And then I made labels with a label maker that is also in this um, Amazon video. So you can get that too to help you with your bottles. But baby, it just made underneath my kitchen sink look so so nice i'll insert a photo so you can see it looks so good under there like not that anybody cares or anybody will be looking but for me i'd be excited to reach up underneath my kitchen counter like <laughs> which cleaning bottle i need to get ah, it's so cute unnecessary but just really, really cute. I, I'm not gonna hold y'all, I love this. Following up with putting things that already come in containers into new containers. I also have one for my for my disinfectant wipes why why would i keep the yellow and white clorox box like bottle when i could just put it in here hello hello so literally how this works is it's a screw top and you just put the whole well mine are connected but you just put the whole um canister in here and this fits the extra large size and the normal size. And all you do is just rip the top off from the original and then feed in the towels. And it works perfectly fine. You press this button, it pops open, and boom. You got your towels, they stay moist. I don't have no issues. Fire, and everything is black underneath my counter. It just looks so good. It just looks so much better. It's literally just an aesthetic thing. Serves no practicality purpose. It just looks better to me than having all of those different brands and labels and you know i don't know it's just I, I have a problem i really do but there's a lot of us that do because i know y'all finna buy these too so that's why i had to show it to y'all because i know y'all want to do this too i know you do that's what we have in common so i got these <laughs> following suit with putting things that already come in things into new things this is my wet wipe dispenser I specifically got this for my guest bathroom and then I ended up putting them in all my bathrooms because it just looks so much better than having that plastic container of wet wipes sitting on the toilet on the top of the toilet. So again, these are just wet wipes for, so people can wipe their booties in case, you know, whatever you got going on. You know, I like a little wet wipe personally. So I got these <laughs> and I keep these in my bathroom. I also keep Theo's wet wipes that I use to wipe his paws and things in here. It just looks better. When you have people over, they be really like, oh, you got me covered. Like you got wet wipes for me, number one. First of all, first of all, having wet wipes for, for folks that's, that don't live in your house. Like we all keep wet wipes in our own bathroom, but you know you really elevated when you got wet wipes for people that come over. Because I wasn't keeping wet wipes in my guest bathroom for a while because number one, why do you need that? What are you doing in there? But then I said, you know what? Mi casa su casa, get comfortable, okay? But I'm gonna make it cute for you. And that's what we have here. So these are unnecessary, but they're just really cute. And they do keep the wet wipes wet. I don't have the actual wet wipe container in here, just the wet wipes. So, and they're still moist and wet. And yeah, I feel like this was a great purchase, personally. So now the last of the putting things in new containers for whatever reason is my laundry soap. Um, <laughs> so I bought this canister, this, this laundry soap dispenser on Amazon for $45. Because are you kidding me? Why would I want to get my soap out of a game container when I can get it out of this? It sits up so cute in my laundry room. It holds hella laundry detergent. Hella. And the dispenser works. Now what I will say is the dispenser at the bottom, you do want to give it a few seconds to finish drip, drip, dripping because it will drip, drip, drip for about 30 seconds after you turn it off. So just let it let it do that so it's not dripping all over your counter or wh wherever you have this sitting. It does come with the wood block on bottom to keep it propped up. Um, and yeah, I've had no issues with it so far. I really like this. Uh, I probably will end up spray painting this black. My laundry room actually doesn't have any black accents as far as all my containers. They're all like wood and cream, but I'll probably end up switching that. So, but yeah. cute stuff I, I can't help it guys I cannot help it okay so now we're gonna move into more 
well let me finish with like organization i don't know this i don't really know this might should be in tech things honestly it's the label maker that i use like i said to put labels on the bottles but you can use this for anything and it comes with all different colors of tapes that you can buy and this is super easy because you just download the app on your phone and you just type what you want on your phone and press print and it prints out of here it is so easy so simple and this is very affordable because um i did not realize how expensive label makers were why are label makers upwards of 90 dollars? i just uh, we need to calm down so this was perfect and it's nice and petite and small it can fit in your drawer you charge it it bluetooth to your phone very simple very easy okay so if you're someone who needs to make labels for any and everything here you go the next things in this category that I got are some new wick trimmers and wick snuffers or candle snuffers. Just basically candle accessories. I had gold ones, but you guys know I'm kind of phasing out gold out of my living room. So I got a matte black set. I also just needed a new pair of wick cutters anyways because my other ones were getting kind of dull. So I got these on Amazon. Just super cute. If you're a candle girl, th these will be your best friend. You just trim, snuff, you know candle stuff candle necessities these are actually just strictly like practical but they do look cute all right so up next i have some gadgets around the home so home gadgets that you need so i got this little handheld vacuum i got two of these <laughs> i got one for in my car and one for upstairs and i know you're probably like okay but if you have a vacuum because i have a dyson vacuum that i use but sometimes i just have a, a few little crumbs or just a little dust like dang i gotta come all the way down here and get my dyson like so i keep this underneath my nightstand just for little messes so let me show you guys how it works this is the cap you take it off this is the top and it comes with attachments okay so if you need to get in some crevices then you just turn it on it has two different modes a regular and a fast and the suction is pretty okay this obviously is not going to replace a whole vacuum cleaner but for small messes i find that this is very beneficial like i said i like to keep this in my car and then I have one in my bedroom. Well, now they're both in my house because I don't have a car right now, but you get the freaking point. Yes, and it just charges, you plug it into the wall, it is chargeable. I just find that this is a cute little gadget to keep around, little handheld vacuum for little messes, so yeah. And it was matte black, I'm a sucker. The next thing that I got is a lint remover or a pile remover. If you don't know what like pile I'm talking about, you know like if you wear leggings or something too long and where your, your thighs be rubbing, it done balled all up and it's like, it makes your clothes look cheap. This removes that. So you just take the cover off and you press the button. It has like three different modes and it just gets it right off. Three different modes. As you can see, I have some in here from where I did a piece of clothing prior, um, but it's just a little handheld um, pile remover. I think that this is great for clothing, um, furniture even too, if you have a cat. I did it to my couch where Rosanna tore my couch up. Obviously my couch is tore, tore up. That, that's beyond repair, but it got like the really, really bad pieces off. So um, I keep this upstairs in my bedroom for when I get dressed and some of my clothes be looking a little dingy. You just kind of run this over it to get that pile off and it looks so much nicer. So this is just a, a tool that I do think everybody kind of needs. And obviously, it's matte black. <laughs> what can I say? Now the last thing in this category, I have now, y'all know, I told y'all I decided to be a part of the Steam Sheets community. So I had to get a steamer. And of course I had to get a matte black steamer because what other color I'm gonna get, hello. I got this black steamer off of Amazon um, by Steam Creations. It is a little more expensive than most steamers, but it is a little, a lot more cuter than most steamers too. It works very, very well. I'm talking y'all, any kind of silk clothes, shirts, it get my clothes pinned straight 30 seconds. You just fill it up with water, plug it in, press the button and it goes. like. It's a very good steamer, can't lie. I keep this in my bedroom as well because that's usually where I do most of my steaming. But I would say that this little handheld steamer is 10 out of 10 worth it and it is so stinking cute. Are you kidding me? All right, so the next category that I have to show you guys things from is the beauty category. So first things first is I got these little mini perfume bottles and I got these because of my mom. She showed me these and I was like, wait a minute, why don't I have these? 
These are not only great for travel, but if you're someone who likes to touch up your fragrance throughout the day, like if you know you're gonna have a long day, I think that these are great for that, okay? So, oops, let me pop my, oh, not the bottle stuck in there. Hold on now. So this is the bottle. These are like, have y'all ever heard of Scentbird? Y'all know how to Scentbird sample perfumes be coming in these? That's what these are, except now you don't gotta buy Scentbird to get these, okay? You can buy them on Amazon, so cheap. I get black ones because <laughs> clearly there's a theme here. Uh, so I don't usually fill them up all the way because personally, I like to just throw them in my purse to touch up my fragrance on the way. So it comes with little um, tools that you attach to your perfume. And I just put in like five pumps in because that's all I'm gonna need. And it fills it up to a decent level. So while you're out, you can pump, pump, pump. And you're not wasting perfume by having it sitting in these like, um, like travel size things um, unless you really just want like you have a specific fragrance you like to just carry around then you can fill it all the way up if you want but I just fill it up a little bit um, and move on about my day and you can rinse them out clean them out that way you know when you move on to the next fragrance it comes in a set of three so you do have multiple but I think that these are great if you're someone who likes to reapply your fragrance um, while you're out or like I also said, traveling. If you don't want to take your whole fragrance with you, your whole perfume, you can put it in these as well. So absolutely think these are a must have for a fragrance girl. The next thing is more hand sanitizer. Okay, I showed y'all a hand sanitizer in the last one, but I done found a new brand that I like even more. And they come in a bunch of different colors as well. This is by Noshinku. Now these are more expensive. They are a little pricey for a hand sanitizer, but are you freaking kidding me? Tell me this isn't the cutest hand, hand sanitizer you've seen in your life. They come in different colors and different fragrances. So every color has a different scent. And when I tell y'all these are scented, so if scent does bother you, don't get these because these are scented. I'm talking scented. Don't smell like hand sanitizer at all. Very much scented. They are all natural hydrating hand sanitizers infused with jojoba, rosa canina, argan, bay leaf, and sweet orange. They are very hydrating hand sanitizers. My hands do not be feeling crusty after using these. That is the worst thing about certain hand sanitizers to me is that I'm like, did I just put rubbing alcohol on? Cause that's what I feel like. Did I just rub my hands in acetone? Cause that's what it's giving, not these. So I bought a um, like a variety pack of these. So that's what I'll have linked down below. But yeah, these fire and they're even thinner. So they fit in your purse super duper easy too. All right, up next, another completely unnecessary but necessary to me products y'all know i am a cuticle oil like preacher okay i preach all day to ladies keep a cuticle oil always put cuticle oil on your cuticles your cuticles clean cuticles make all the difference and i know i feel like a lot of people don't talk about it enough cuticles make your hands just bad cuticles be looking bad good cuticles it just makes all the difference okay so lately i have been keeping a cuticle oil pen in my bag because i noticed that after washing my hands when i go to the restroom while i'm out and things like that the first thing to dry out is them cuticles and lotion just don't get into it for me hand 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 creams just don't get into the cuticles like they need to be so i bought cuticle oil pens off of amazon to use on my cuticles now you can get any cuticle oil pen on Amazon. I'm gonna just keep it a buck with y'all. This is another aesthetic thing that I was willing to pay extra money, extra unnecessary money for because I liked the way that this one looks. But I guarantee you it probably works no different than any other cuticle oil pen. So you do not have to get this exact one. This is just the one that I got, but I like the way that it looks. So there's that. And while we're here, let me just put a little bit on because I just got my nails done today and they look real good. But I'm gonna just put a little bit more cuticle oil on because you could never have enough cuticle oil. The next thing that I have to show y'all in the beauty category is lashes. These have been my favorite lashes that I have been wearing. Now, I don't wear the whole strip. Sorry y'all, camera cut off per usual. But like I was saying, I have these on right now, but I don't wear the entire strip. So what I do is I put mascara on my lashes like normal, and then I use my Kiss Falscara, which I also buy on Amazon, and I apply it to the ends of my lashes, and I cut about like the outer third of these lashes, and I cut that piece in two pieces and just attach it to the ends, just to give some fullness towards the outer corner of my lashes. I find that this accentuates the shape of my eyes better, but I love this fluffy style and the lengths of these lashes. They do come in a bunch of different styles and lengths, but this is just the one that I'm wearing. And I think these are like seven bucks for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they're a dollar a lash, basically. And they last me even longer because 
I don't use the whole eyelash. So when I want a shorter look or a more natural look, I use the inner corner part on the outer corner of my eye. You get what I'm saying. But I figured I would share these because I get questions about the lashes that I've been wearing lately. So these are them. Moving on to the final category, which is always the thickest, largest, chunkiest category that I ever be having, which is kitchen stuff. Stuff in the kitchen, okay? <sighs> I don't know what it is about me and Amazon and kitchen appliances, kitchen things. We just be we just be locked in, okay? That's where I begin got. So let's just start. I got new carafes for my juices, my milks, my creamers, coffee, things like that. So when I showed you guys my last ones, the glass ones that had the cork top, a lot of people were saying, oh, like, are you worried? I'm sorry, y'all. I started talking about eyelashes and now I can feel my eyelashes. Anyways, a lot of y'all were like, are you not worried about the cork getting moldy? And I'm like, why would I be worried about that? I should be worried about that. It 100% got moldy. So while I love those glass carafes, I need to get new tops for them because the cork 100% gets moldy. So I said, you know what, let's shift around. Let's shift around. So these are like a thick plastic. I don't wanna call them plastic, but they're kind of like a thicker plastic. And I do wanna say that they're um, dishwasher safe, but check the link to be sure. They come with a nice black top. It also has a pour. So you can pour directly out of here. You don't have to remove the top. And they're larger. I believe these are 54 ounce um, crafts. So I got a couple of these to carry my juices and things like that in because again, I don't like the things to be in their original packaging for whatever reason. So I put them all in new things. Woohoo. <laughs> so yeah, I got a bunch of these off of Amazon. So uh, if you did get the last ones, I hope your cork's not moldy. But if it is, here's an alternative. It's not the cork top, it's a black top, but black is real cute, okay? So I got a bunch of these. So up next, I'm gonna show you guys these little bowls that I get. So whenever I make food, like whenever I cook, I always like to prep all my ingredients and put them in these bowls. I don't know, it's just so cute. It makes me feel like I'm on the Food Network. I be feeling like a chef, okay? And it just be looking real cute. It makes me excited to cook. It makes cooking an experience to me. Obviously, it does create dirty dishes, which you're gonna have to clean, it, you know, but I personally don't mind. Now, this, like I said, is for a very specific type of person, the type of us, our people. Um, so yeah, I have a bunch of these and they're just plain little bowls. You can also put snacks in these like nuts and different little, like they're large enough for small snacks. Um, I also make my matcha in this. Um, so it does have other uses, but the main use that I use it is for meal prep, putting the ingredients like, okay, here's my half of a chopped onion, here's the parsley, like, and it's all set out and it just looks so cute to me. It really just makes cooking super enjoyable to me. And like I said, I'd be feeling like I'm on a, sh uh, on, a on a food network, okay? So I got these and it came in like a pack of eight, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah. Up next, I have these itty bitty little pour, like, syrup bottles, I don't know what you would call these. Um, I keep my coffee syrups in here. So like my sugar-free vanilla syrup, I keep that in these so that I can just pour, you know, what I need instead of keeping the big bottle like out on my counter. Because like I said, I do have like a coffee and tea, not a bar, but like a setup on my kitchen counter. Um, and these just make it look so much nicer than having those super tall syrups sitting on my counters. So I got two of these and I believe they were not that expensive. And I literally just use a, the tiniest amount, so they've stayed pretty full. Um, but yeah, and these are microwavable safe, they're glass, and they're just super cute um, and practical as far as pouring your syrups in. So if you're someone who is a coffee girl, or a tea girl, or a matcha girl, if you use any kind of flavored syrups for anything, this is so cute to keep your syrups in. So, yeah. All right, keeping it up for my tea girls, I have this tea infuser. This was the best thing to come into my life, okay? So this is a tea infuser, but it just makes your life so easy. So you literally open the top, you scoop your tea into it, you put your hot water into it, you let this sit on the counter and steep for however long your tea requires. Underneath, there is this, this release panel. So when you put it on top of a cup, it pours all the water. None of your tea, if you're a loose leaf tea girl like me, None of it comes through. There's a strainer right there in the middle. I don't know if you guys can see it, the strainer. Perfect, perfectly brewed tea every single time. 
perfectly brewed hot tea every single time with no residue, no debris from, you know, your loose leaf tea. Um, and then it's so easy to clean. You literally just pour it out, like dump out whatever loose leaf tea you have left, rinse it, pour it back, run some hot water, soap, let it drain out. It's so easy. Like it's the easiest thing to clean. And you never have to worry about the tea getting stuck in here because the filter is so small. Like none of your loose, loose leaf tea can seep through that at all literally the best invention I ever found. But I have two more things and these, especially the first one I'm gonna show you, I consider this to be a necessity. Okay, so this is a, a um, kitchen wrap dispenser. Okay, so I have my tin foil and my plastic wrap. I really got this for the plastic wrap because parchment paper and tin foil are easy to rip out of their own containers, right? The containers they come in, but plastic wrap, absolutely not. I don't care what anybody says. If you were able to keep your plastic wrap intact in the original container and it's not all balled up and messed up, I applaud you because I cannot. So that's why I needed this. If you've ever worked in a restaurant, you know that like we would have those big plastic wrap things and it would come with a slider to rip the plastic wrap nice and even. That's what this is, okay? So you literally open it up on one side, slide everything in, pull it out, boom, it's nice and even. It comes with the, the cutter. My plastic wrap is perfect. Every time, every time the edges be straight, it'd be perfect easy i pull it out i lay it down i pull the thing Ooh, that's it i'm not fighting with my plastic wrap no more hello ne necessary necessary absolutely necessary i don't care what nobody got to say i love this love next thing that i have is a plastic bag organizer i only have one size of plastic bags but when i get others it will be perfect so it has your quart sandwich and snack bag and gallon you just open up the top to fill it up and then it has the holes so that you can just reach in and grab it. Again, for some reason, I have beef with the original packaging of products, so I have to put them all in new things. And, and this just is a part of that. I lied to you guys, I have one last product and it is a kitchen appliance and it is my blender. This is a beast blender. It comes in several different colors. I have mine in black. And it is just a cute blender, okay? I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't work any better than any other blender, but it is cute, okay? And it comes with a bunch of different sized bottles. It comes with um, different attachments. So say you make too much of your smoothie, it comes with lids. You just put the lid on, throw it in your fridge or in your freezer. It has so many different attachments that I find make it very, very beneficial and practical. And then it's just really freaking cute. It's really freaking cute. A lot of people ask me, is it quiet? No, it's loud. It's a loud ass blender. It's loud just like any other blender. It only got one mode on. On and blend. Blend is its only mode. Uh, so yeah, but I like it. It's real, real cute. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys, so that is it for this Amazon haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what your favorite pieces was. Let me know what you're gonna get, what you're not gonna get, you know. Tell me the tea, tell me the tea in the comments. Like I said, everything will be linked down below for you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.